Almond milk is a delicious alkalizing drink that's a wonderful alternative if you're avoiding dairy. And in this video, I'll show you how to make it. You're gonna need two cups of raw almonds, some kind of glass container. I like using mason jars, but you could also use a glass bowl, a half a tablespoon of sea salt, and about two to three cups of water. Start by pouring your almonds into your glass container. Next, you wanna add your half a tablespoon of sea salt. Finally, you're gonna add your filtered water. Now you wanna add a generous amount of water so that your almonds are well covered because they will expand with soaking and also absorb some of the water. Now the reason why we soak our almonds overnight in salt water is because most nuts and seeds contain anti-nutrients that make it difficult for us to fully absorb minerals in our digestive tract. Kind of a bummer, right? But when we soak them in a salty brine overnight, this will have, help to neutralize those anti-nutrients. So that's what we're going to do. Now you can leave these uncovered if you want to. You could put a paper towel with a rubber band, something like that. I like to use kind of a sprouting lid like so, that way they can still breathe breathe, but um, no little gnats can get in there. So I'll see you tomorrow. Here we are 12 hours later. As you can see, our almonds are getting a little murky here, so we are going to drain them and rinse them. Dump the almonds. Sometimes they get stuck at the bottom of my mason jar. Give them a good little spritzer here. Yeah, and I like to rinse them pretty well just to get all the anti-nutrients off and just be sure they're nice and clean. As you can see, they have kind of um, are swollen because they've absorbed some of that water. They're also soft, so it's going to be super easy to blend them. And that's the next thing we're going to do is put them into the blender. Next, I'm going to add about three and a half to four cups of filtered water. So this is about, this is four cups. I'm going to add this in. This would also be the time that you would add any seasonings. You could add cinnamon, vanilla extract. I like to add a whole vanilla bean. You could add cocoa powder, cocoa, uh, all sorts of stuff, maple syrup, I have ground nutmeg, cinnamon. So just whatever you like, put it in here now, and then we're going to blend. And I'll have how much you would want to put of all those in my blog post, link in the video description below. Now we're going to pour our almond milk through a nut bag. I highly recommend getting one of these. They're super cheap and will make your life so much easier. If you don't have one of these, you can use cheesecloth. And I like to pour it into something like this because it's got a little spout, um, but just any kind of bowl would do. So here we go. We're just going to pour our almond milk through our bag here or through our cheesecloth, whatever it may be. I like to do about a third of it and just kind of squeeze my milk out. Okay, well here is my quart of almond milk. It looks delicious. You can tell if it's a good batch, it kind of gets frothy at the top. So yummy, yummy. I actually poured myself a little sample glass, so cheers. Mmm, tastes so good, really creamy. Now, some of you might be wondering, what do we do with this almond pulp? See that? All this lovely dried almond meal. Well, you can actually dry it out either in your oven at a really low temperature or in a dehydrator and use it for almond flour. You can use it in baked goods, that sort of thing. You could even use it as is to make cookies, that sort of thing, or you can compost it. So there you have it, almond milk. I hope this was instructional for you. I hope you guys give it a try. And thanks as always for tuning in. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up because this helps us spread the word to other natural mamas out there. Now, just so you know, we do two videos a week. On Tuesday, they're usually like this, some kind of natural health tip or trick. And on Thursday, we have our weekly vlog called In Real Life. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these videos and we'll catch you next time.